Are you worried that this sort of global energy shock could roll over here and hit consumer spending, consumer confidence, and maybe even the macro markets? Well, I think what's going to happen here, Brian, is I actually think it's more of a virtuous circle right now because you got to remember the consumer in the U.S. is in great shape. The balance sheet right now, I mean, look at American households. They have $2 trillion more on their balance sheet than they did before the pandemic. Compliments of the government printing money. Thank you, Uncle Sam. Um, and wages are going up. So I think you're, what you're going to see here, and this is why I think the economy is going to continue to boom, you know, it's starting to boom, is the fact that consumers are going to be able to, to take those price hikes. They're not going to be as price sensitive. So you know, you're going to be able to see companies increase their, you know, their prices, and you're going to see the consumer be able to take it. And that is inflationary. But at the same time, you know, you've got a very, very strong consumer here. And I think that's, that's all going to work out for the foreseeable future. Well, it all goes to the overall inflation story, Ryan. And it sounds like, you know, your point is well noted because, yeah, prices have gone up. And we're going to show that tomorrow. We've got this wall of inflation you're going to want to see. But wages have also gone up. So maybe, hopefully, maybe the American consumer, the American family is going to be able to withstand it. Sounds like you think they will be and that maybe American stocks are going to do okay. Does that mean that you are advocating for domestic equities, small caps, perhaps? I mean, anything cyclical. And I was on your show you know, back in the summer of uh, August of last year. You know, oil was, was trading at like $30, $40 a barrel. Um, and, you know, at that point, we were talking about that cyclical trade. And I think that continues here. I mean, if you look at anything going on right now, you get that re-rotation. We've kind of had a reset, right? We had maybe it was around like March. We start to see technology stocks outperform again. And then all of a sudden, once the Fed stopped talking about transitory inflation two weeks ago, all of a sudden you blink. Ten-year Treasury now is up to one and a half percent. You've got oil prices skyrocketing. You've got everyone talking about inflation again, and you're seeing money funnel back into small caps like you just mentioned. Cyclical stocks in general are starting to outperform, while tech here is starting to get hammered. And I think that's the longer-term trend, right? We had tech was a very, uh, we'll say, like disinflationary trade that you had for a decade. Now we're in a reinflationary re trade, and that's going to last a long time because not just the U.S., we know, printing all this money. It's a global phenomenon and you're going to see tightening happening around the world. You know, England's already mentioned that they're going to start doing it. Other central banks around the world are mentioning yeah. the same thing. So, you know, we're, we're in that what I would call inflationary period. Now, you've got to reposition your portfolio for that. 